Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Oh, man. If you guys didn't know the culture, now you know the culture. Every time we do a cool, we start the cool with that song, right? Everything will double double your pips, will double double your business, will double double. Put a 7777 in the chat box if you're fired up. If you know everything's about to double double right now, I need to see some sevens in that chat box. I'm fired up. I'm excited. I'm so grateful right now to be here with every single one of you guys on this cool. You know, it's an absolute blessing to share this Monday evening with you guys. And, you know, not only just you guys, but we have a very, very special guest on the call today. Someone that I've looked up to uh, from when I came in and the first time I met him, he's someone that I looked up to straight away. Um, you know, both coming from the Caribbean. I would be able to relate with him straight away as soon as we met and, you know, just got speaking with him. He's an absolutely lovely guy, phenomenal gentleman, uh, someone that's such a class act to this whole company, someone that's, you know, such an asset to this whole company. And it's just an absolute blessing to have him on this call tonight as well. So he can really break down what he's done in this company, his experience, and how he's got to the success that he's seeing as well. And again, guys, you know, you really want to have your notepads, your pens ready. You want to have everything ready. You want to have the energy ready for this amazing individual, right? Because again, you know, you want to give the energy that you want to attract, right? You want to celebrate so you can attain those celebrations, right? So with this amazing gentleman, he's done amazing things. And you really want to do take notes on exactly what it is that he's got to share with you right now. So a bit of backstory about this individual. He's been trading for quite some time. He's been an I am educated. And, and if you look at it, you know, when you go on to go live, you can actually see the top viewed educators. He's actually one of them. And he's someone that I look up to, someone the whole team watches. You know, we plug into his sessions and we know this guy is so busy. He's literally got another session for the whole company straight after this call. So that really just does show the servant leadership that he has because he's literally on back-to-backs throughout the day. And he just had a, a, a lovely newborn baby as well. So he's a real family man, someone that I love, someone that I adore. And I'm so grateful to have him on this call. So guys, before I bring him up, I want to see some a woo, a woo, a woo in the chat box. If you know Ballet Granville, right? You know he goes by that culture, a woo, a woo, a woo. So without further ado, I'm going to bring him up and he's going to grace the stage and he's going to take this call away. So my brother Ballet, can you hear me? Greetings, greetings. How is it going? Oh, we're even better now that we can see you, man. Let's hey, 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 hey. How's it going? I'm so excited. I'm so fired up. Hey, guys, I just want you to take a moment to congratulate and put your hands off for servant leader Montel for hitting, smashing Chairman 10. And I know he's running straight for Chairman 25. And I know several of you in here are going to be Chairman 10s as well. So just put some fire emojis in the chat. Appreciate them showing some love, some hearts, blue hearts, whatever you can. Sure, rag, anything. <laughs> just to show him some love. All right. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, I'm so happy, so humble and grateful that you invited me onto the call. Just to share a little bit um, with the team. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so recently, well, not recently, but probably about six months, a bit more than that now, we released um, the Index Infusion add-on, and that was to uh, help people who are just new to the to trading. Um, if you want to be able to take trades without having to analyze or anything like that we just do all the analysis for you and we send uh trade ideas out to you guys now vibrata in itself it was something that was introduced uh in the in not not um london convention but the convention before that in, i think it was somewhere in the u.s dallas dallas it was dallas right um and you know, as, as software goes, sometimes you get a little bit of uh, teething problems as well. Um, they fix in certain bugs as well. But the old vibrata is working. So I want to show you guys where you can actually get those trade ideas. Um, and we'll just go into a little bit of what I'm looking for when I'm doing a little trade setup. I'm actually doing a series at the moment of my trade entries. What am I looking for? for my trade entries um, and last, not last week, but the week before I started with um, 
with two of the trade entries that I'm looking for. And this week, I'm going to continue with that on my advanced channel. Not tonight, but tomorrow night, I'm going to continue with that. So let me just share, share some things with you guys. And if you're not on Pip Talk yet, so say, for example, if the software is down, make sure that you're connected onto Pip Talk so that I could send trade ideas out to you on Pip Talk there as well. We're not, we're not sending trades out on Telegram because there's some people who just not subscribed and still in Telegram groups. And that is not fair to the people who are actually paying for these services. Um, uh, Montel, if you just make me co-host so I can share my screen. Perfect, you should be able to share it now. Awesome. Yep, there we go. Boom. All right. So let's start off in the, in the IM center. Right, so when we get to the IM center here, we usually go to strategies. Now, to be able to get access to um, my trade setups, you have, to, you have to have a subscription to Vibrata. When we get onto Vibrata here, right, within, within these vibes, they have several add-ons that you could literally get trade ideas from. They're all analyzed for you. You don't have to do anything else. It gives you your trade entries, everything, everything, everything. If you just click on um, Index Infusion, uh, it will give you your trade entries. Right. As I was saying before, sometimes we get some bugs because it's a new thing. And now, the trade ideas aren't showing. However, you could still get the trade ideas. Okay, you could still get the trade ideas if you go to the old web analyzer. And I'll send this and I'll send this um link into the chat so that those who want it, they can get it. Let me just send this to the chat now. Right, so that's the old web analyzer here, and you could log in. And what, what we have on the side here are the add-ons. So similar to if you had the Vibrata and we go back to Vibes, right? Uh, yeah, so if we go back to Vibes here, you would see London Payout, Tor, Index Infusion, and all that. Well, on the side here, where you see this, these letters, that's what those things are. They just put them in a letter format so that you'll be able to, to find them. So II is Index Infusion, LP is London Payout, so forth and so forth. So if we click on, on this Index Infusion, for example, I sent out two trade ideas today. One for EuroCAD and one for Euro USD. Now, if you've been following me for a little while, I started off being scalping and all that, but now I'm more developed into an intra-week type trader in, uh, and going into swing trading. Reason being is because I, I don't want to be um, sleeping on the charts, right? I just want to make sure I just put my, put my trades on and, and let it go. So let's look at one of these trades and and see what what am i looking for for my trade entry so say for example usd cad right so let's bring this up usd cad here usd cad there we go so i've got it all marked off the trade hasn't triggered yet or anything but it is it is almost ready to go now last week we actually caught usd card way down here for a buy right so we caught this buy and it hit take profit target this was take profit target one up here then we having a retrace what we what we're looking for is just a continuation of that price movement to the upside and if we look at it just uh look look at it basically uh, let me just erase some of these things here all right, this is why it's important to go through your academy as well, because you'll be able to, um, to pick up on some of these things. 
Okay. So what we what we actually have is an area here that we could see on the one hour chart that was basically uh, a support, a resistance zone. Price pushes up, breaks, comes back, retests, pushes up, right? Um, this is support. Price pushes down, pull back up, retests as resistance right here. Um, and then now price has gone and broken above there and it's come back now and retesting in the zone. So it's a basic, it's a basic uh, support and resistance type setup. However, it could be, it could be more, right? If you have been looking at my advanced channel, I've been looking at what we call supply and demand zones. And we have a supply and demand zone right here where we're seeing price pushing up. We have a little bit of a consolidation and then price pushes up again. And within that, within that area, within that zone, we have a supply and demand area. And what I'm personally looking for is for price to come back and tap into that, you know, tap into the highs or somewhere in between this zone here, tap into that. And, and then we look for some more movements to the upside, all right? And if you go to Vibrata here, you would actually see my trade entries, it says, I want to buy USD CAD around 1.3950, okay? So if I just set this up, 1.3950. Now, if you don't know much about supply and demand zones, I literally have a training on my favorites on the advanced channel that you could go and check that out um, so you could get a bit more understanding about that. Okay, so I'm patiently, what, what I personally do, I just patiently, I pick a price and then patiently wait for a price to come to that area to buy or sell at. But I don't jump into the market willy nilly here, there, and everywhere. Okay, so that's my entry. Okay, my stop loss would be. 1.3925. So I'm trying to keep my stop as practically tight as I possibly can. And there's a good reason for that. Three nine two five. And we'll go into all of that and why why having a reasonably tight stop loss is important in the grand in the grand scheme of things all right so that's my stop loss below here meaning hey if price pushes below the supply and demand zone here below there i definitely want to be out of that trade a stop loss is a good thing it's a, is your friend all right it is your friend take profit target all right. So it says here, take profit target TP1, 1.400. So just go back there. So I'm literally just plotting, plotting this trade setup so that you can actually see what it looks like. 00, zero. I think TP, so that's TP1. I think TP2 is about 50 pips up from that. And there's also a TP3, which is another 50 pips up from that as well. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's the trade setup right there. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So here's, here's the thing, right? With your, with your take profits and your risk, your risk management. It's really, really important to be able to have, to trade with stop losses once and for all, right? Never trade without your stop losses. For whatever reason, just don't do it. Um, but two, 
when you're trading, you really don't want to risk more than one to two percent of your account on any one trade. Remember that your trading uh, results are based on a multitude of trades put together rather than just one or two concentrated trades, right? Because one trade is not going to make you, but one trade could definitely break you. And if you don't practice, or if you're risking 50% of your account on one trade, then if it goes against you, that's, that's it, right? 50% of your account, absolutely gone, right? It's better to just risk 1% to 2% of your account. And if you risk 1% of your account, you literally have 100 trades before your account is blown. If you risk 2% of your account, you have 50 trades before your account is blown, if the trades go against you. Now, you've got to be really mentally something really wrong to lose 50 trades in a row or 100 trades in a row, all right? Probably just started. I get that, right? But... So that's why it's important to make sure that you, you manage your risks appropriately, okay? Choose sensible areas for your, your stop losses. Um, as, a, as you can see here, hold on, somebody's drawing. There we go. I wonder if I could clear that. Okay, Valley, bro, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, try and wipe this off in a few seconds. Yeah. All right, perfect. So if you just start sharing again. Yeah, okay, perfect. Then I can disable. Cool. Awesome. I think I've disabled that. Yeah, cool. Right. So in this instance, this is our trade setup. We're just waiting. We're just waiting for price to come down. As you, as you notice here as well, price didn't do that much today, right? It was just up and down. Today was a holiday, a memorial holiday. So we're just waiting now for price to do its thing and, and make its move. Now, um, if you notice, it's a one to two risk to reward ratio on this trade. So what that simply means is I'm risking a one portion to be able to get two portions. So this is the mathematics, right? We've got to do the mathematics to understand what's going on behind this trade. So if we risk 2% of, of our account on this trade um, and it plays out, it means that this is a 25 pips stop loss. It means that every 25 pips that it goes in profit on our account, we would have gained we would have gained 2% growth on the account. If it goes up to that 50 pip take profit target, we would have gained um, 4% on the account. Now, in reality, all you need, if you're able to get 15% for the week on your, on your money, you're good. You're good to go. If you're able to get 15% per week on your money, you are good to go. And 15% per week on $1,000, for example, or 1,000 pounds, uh, that will equate to close to seven figures by the end of one year if you could consistently grow that 15% per week. And all you need, right? So this, this trade setup here is a potential four percent all you need is about three four four good trades for the week of this type and you're you're good you are done for the week so it's, it's important to systematically plan your trades right have a spreadsheet of a uh, and have a growth plan to know exactly how much you're going to be um 
aiming for, how much you're willing to risk. And again, if you stick to 1% to 2% of your account, you'll be surprised to see how much that actually equates to. Right? It, it simply means that if you just go to 1%, that if you do lose a trade, you only lose 1% of your account. Right? And the higher, the higher you risk, it just simply means that the more, you, the more you're losing. If you, if you do lose some trades. So better to keep, keep your risk low and then take multiple trades rather than having a massive lot size on one trade. That is, that is what I want to encourage you. Your risk management is just very, very, very important. Now, another thing is that if Vibrata is down, um, we also do pip talk. So I'm going to go and pip talk here. If you're not a part of the Pip Talk channel, I'll send a link. All right. So these are some of the trades that we took last week, for example, or even the week before. So here we were looking for, we looked to buy. We bought this um, Euro USD, and I've took, I've taken a screenshot. Here it hit take profit target one. We had a little bit of a pullback. Um, oh no, that was GBP USD. This is Euro USD here. Right here is hit take profit target one. Then we just continue on with this Euro USD eventually. Boom. Hit or take profit target. Um, take profit target two. That was 70 pips in the bag and again you see we literally only risk we risk 28 pips on this one to get 78 so this was like a one to one to three risk to reward ratio okay uh these are some other trades here gbp jpy last week all right so we were looking to sell in this zone uh, and then what happened price tapped up right into our zone here more or less to the pip, dropped off. First take profit target hit over 118 pips right here. Um, and I think eventually it actually hit take profit target two. Yep. The next day hit take profit target two right there, 200 and 200 pips. So about 200 pips um, before it started pulling up. All right. Again, Euro AUD, we had a nice trade on that one, dropped off. Quite nicely hit take profit target one day. I believe that was about 100 pips. Um, so you could stay updated with what's happening when you come on to Pip Talk as well. We had a trade a ton last week. So if you missed it, we did have a nice little trade a ton, had a little run, and boom, first, the first trade we took 100, 100 pips, Euro AUD. Right? We even took a trade on. On US 30, hit take profit target 300 points down. Um, and these are some other trade setups that we took right on this, on this trade a ton last week. Okay, so uh, which, which one was this one? Right, so this was GBP CAD. And uh, that, that hit take profit of 130 pips. Um, this is, I can't remember which one, GBP AUD, right? Hit take profit target of 130 something pips again. This was GBP CAD. Yeah, crazy movements, crazy movements. Uh, this was 40, 49 pips, right? So lots of pips in the bag. Uh, GBP USD, this trade, I'm still in, we're still in this trade. All right, um, this is what index infusion is supposed to look like when it's up and running. So you get this, the, the entry price. So you notice where the arrow is. This is where the trade was called. So I call the trade to sell way across here. I think it was a day before. Um, and then it dropped off. I came right back to our entry, triggered us in, little drawdown whatsoever. And we're in profit, hit take profit target one. Um, I believe that we're close to take profit target two right now. But this is what you get on the index infusion 
when you when you log in. We also have one of the other one of the other guys who actually trades crypto, myself and his name is Sharif. Sharif sends out crypto trades on the weekend. So if you're into trading cryptocurrencies, he sends tra um, crypto trades out. So you get that on the index infusion as well. He also sends out um, some indices and those indices did quite, quite well. One thing about indices though is that you've got to make sure that you've got uh, a big enough account to handle your indices. You don't want to be trading indices with an account less than a thousand, a thousand um, pounds. Uh, although there are certain indices that may work, like for example, um, NAS 100 and and S and P 500, you might be able to trade those with like a 500 dollar account, but definitely not the US 30 or the German 30. And um, and that that is generally that is generally it. Uh, besides that, okay, we've got our go live sessions. So make sure that you plug in to go live. I've got a go live session just after this. And what I do is I do trade setups. I send the chart markups in the chat itself. Um, so people, so let's go to the advanced channel. So I've got an advanced channel. You go to FRX, or in fact, let's go to the Vibrata channel first. So I've got a Vibrata channel, um, and this is specifically for those with Vibrata. If you click on Vibrata here, right, you'll able you'll be able to to jump in on the sessions and see what's going on. Um, and I do, and I do send some chart markups in there. The chart markups will eventually go because, of course, there is an expiry date to your trades. So we don't, we're not going to keep them in there forever. So they eventually um, get cleared out. But if we go to the advanced channel, right at the very, um, let's go back. All right, so if we just go to FRX here and go live, and we go FRX advanced, right at the very right at the very bottom, you'll be able to log into my sessions. And these advanced sessions are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Again, I'll do chat markups. I'll send them in here. You can ask questions while we're on the sessions. Um, and these are some of the favorites so if you go to favorites here I, I encourage you to check these out because one this one talks about supply and demand zones and then i've started talking about the different trade entries that i'm looking for um and if you notice i try to be as precise as possible when it comes to the trade entries you know sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't that's trading for you so we keep the risk risk down to a minimum but this is definitely uh, informative. So you start getting an idea of what I'm looking at in the market, what I'm looking for. And you start getting a flavor. Okay, you could also check out these um, past recordings, but specifically these favorite sessions are, are one that you, you wanna get, get your teeth into. All right. So let me know, do you have any questions at all? Let me see anything in the chat. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And ballet, like, you know, all the value that I see a lot of people loving it in the chat box. I was wondering if we could maybe do like a, a short Q&A session. You know? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, you know, one of the first questions that I've got right here would be, you know, when you first started, because there's a lot of people that have come in and, you know, they're just looking to make like a million dollars tomorrow, right? So... <laughs> What were, what was your biggest obstacles when you first started trading? So people understand the process that you had to go through. Well, the biggest obstacles is coming in and think that I could do this quite quickly and um, you know jump on load on my live account and ready to go. <laughs> 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 oh boy! And then you started thinking, hmm, it ain't it ain't as it ain't as simple as um, as I'm thinking that it's gonna be. Mm. Uh yeah, yeah. So you've got to you've got to find yourself. 
you've got to you got to figure out which trading style suits you. Whether you're gonna be scalping, whether you're gonna be day trading, whether you're gonna be swing trading, um, and it's all a development process because you are you're not accustomed to the market. One, you're not necessarily trusting of the market. Two, you know, a lot of people you know, really scared and jumpy to be able to take to take a trade, and you don't want to be in that sort of situation uh, when you're taking trades. And the only way to not be in that situation is to get your knowledge up. Uh, and be confident. You know, you, you could get you could do this in two ways. Just follow follow somebody, and then get your confidence up that way. Re really practice. Um, in fact, you you have to follow somebody, um, and get your get your knowledge up. Um, practice on a demo account until you could double your demo account, and then that demo account is exactly the amount that you're going to be starting with when you have a live account. Mm, wow. Yeah. So. So I wish I wish I didn't try to rush um trying to make money. Um and and I wish I rushed trying to find myself. You know? I think that's important. Powerful, powerful. And you know, my next question would be, how long did it take you to get to the advanced level that you're at now so people understand that it's not gonna happen overnight as well? Probably about um I mean, I study trading every day. Like still, <laughs> you know. Um but it it took me about a good year and a half. It really did, you know. It really did. It took me a good year and a half to 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 get myself stable, and and then still then I'm still I was still studying. I'm still, you know, um, perfecting the craft, understanding certain things. The, the the trading the trading is deep, right? There are many many ways to look at. There's many many ways to look at the market. Um, and there's no there's ne no necessarily right or wrong. The only the only right or wrong is if you're not managing your risk properly. Um, you know, and you got to get the get the risk management right. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that is a big one. I love that. And there was something so powerful you said in a session that I plugged into, and it said, you know, if you follow your own analysis and you lose the trade, you win. If you follow your own analysis and you win the trade, you win. If you follow someone else's analysis, you don't really know what you're doing and you lose and you've lost. And if you follow, you know, um, your, no, no. And you don't follow your analysis and you win the trade, you've lost as well. So could you elaborate more on that? Oh, oh no, no. I think it was, to do with, it was to do with risk management. So I said, I, what I said is, if you, um, if, you, if you were risking, all right, so if you risks or you had proper risk management mm -hmm. and, and you won the trade, you've won, right? If you, uh, you're right, you're right. If you had wrong risk management, but you've won the trade, you're wrong. And the, and the reason for that is, is only one trade. And what, what happens is you develop the habit of not managing your risk appropriately. And that one trade, you might get away with it. You know, the second one, you might get away with it. And there is somehow, when you're winning trades, doing craziness, you just have this Superman thing just come on your chest and you have a cape, right? And, and you feel that there's nothing that can go wrong. And then all of a sudden, one trade just comes and wipe out all your winnings. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you've got to be, the, the only way to be right all the time is make sure you have right risk grant, risk management. Wow. Amazing. Thank you so much. And I've got a few more questions. So, um, you know, how long would you recommend someone to commit to mastering this skill for? Would you say six months, 12 months, 18 months? How long would you recommend someone to commit? Well, well, it, it really depends on the person um, and, and how, how quick it, he, he, he or she finds, finds himself. Um, but, it is a lifelong skill to be fair. You're gonna be you're gonna be learning every every week. Every week you're gonna be learning something new. Um so in terms of committing to, to at least become become profitable, at least three months, you know, at least three months to, to commit um and become profitable. And then you're just going on to learning new styles, learning new new things, but at least master one thing first. Get that under your belt, and then you can move on to something else. 
Wow, amazing. And within those three months of them, you know, mastering it and so on, how many hours per day would you recommend someone to, you know, dedicate? Well, I would say uh, one, one, two hours is fine. One, two hours. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And then a couple more. So, you know, what is your trading style now? And, you know, why is it your trading style? If you could take us through your journey of, you know, you coming in scalping and why did you transition to how you trade now? Yeah, well, when, when we come in and we start scalping, it's just because we're afraid of the market, right? So we just want to be in quick and out quick um, and, and see some sort of profits. The, 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 only, the only issue with scalping is that um, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're taking trades or, or making your winnings from, from, mar from, from margin. Um, or from leverage rather, right? Rather than from volatility in the market or margin of your own account. Mm -hmm. And that in itself creates an issue in that if, if the, the, the trades do go against you, I mean, sometimes scalping, you could see very, very crazy risk to reward ratios uh, like, um, I'm risking 40 pips to, to get 10 or something like that. Mm. So the risk, risk to reward ratio is a bit skewed. So it means that you've got to be winning a lot of times. And not only that, but you've got to be married to the computer. <laughs> so uh, I personally didn't want to be married to the computer. I wanted more of a, a you know, better style of trading. So my style of trading now is more of an intra week type trading going into going into swing swing trading so I, I do hold the trades for a little longer than a day or so um but what i'm i'm looking for is for that what is the big what is the big move that was gonna happen for the week if i could if i could capture most of the weekly move then i'm i'm happy um, and it means that i don't need to you know jump into too many trades um uh, there's sometimes that I could I'll close the trade off um, at the end of the day. It just depends on how volatile the market market was. But uh, saying that, I'm still trying to get into more of swing trading where I could hold the trade for a month to three months. Um, but again, that takes some knowledge um, and then takes some some belief in in what you're doing to hold the trade out for that long. For sure, for sure. Amazing, man. Thank you so much for that one. So, and um, I've got more of a personal question now because I always love people to kind of connect with the educator and so on. So, you know, what was your reason why, you know, for getting started in trading anyway? And then what made you want to become a go live educator too? Well, um, I was interested in trading from way back in the day where I was actually doing property investing. And I used to go to the property investment courses and the teacher would say, hey, you know what you need? To, I'll tell everybody you need to look at trading as a part of your wealth management or your, your wealth creation. And they would bring somebody in to talk about trading. Um, but they would, they would say, all right, come on our trading course for 2000 or 1005. Um, and it's a three day course. Then you go on that three day course and they'll say, all right, well, we've got an intermediate course now. Come on that one for 3000 pounds. And that was, that'll be for the week. Then you go into that and they'll say, hey, you know, <laughs> jump onto our advanced course and the advanced course is a 20,000 mentorship or whatever. Crazy for, for years with a mentor. Um, I didn't even have the 1,005 to get started, so I didn't even go down that route. However, however, um, it was always at the back of my head. So when I was talking to my friend, Gary, Gary McSween, who is now a chairman 100, he says, man, I'm going to be launching a company in, in trading. I'm going to be launching in Trinidad soon. So I was like, seriously, trading, man? How, how much is it? Now, I'm expecting him to say it's going to be about 1,005 or so. He said 195 US <laughs> and, um, and then a monthly subscription of, of 145 at the time. And then it's, and it's free if you have two people in. It's like, what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, sign me up straight away. So that's, that's why and how I got, how I got started in it. Um, and uh, you know what? 
I didn't necessarily want to become a go live educator per se. What I was what I was doing is just like having little calls and showing people certain things that I've been learning and that sort of thing. And what what had happened is the the web analyzer came out. A lot of people were just having struggles when using it, and I had a little strategy that I was using with it, and I was just sharing it. I, I made a little video on on YouTube, and and we were sharing that. Um, and people were getting some success with that. And the creator, he he saw that people were getting some success. So he he called me and said, hey, could you teach your strategy to um, this team in, in this place? And then teach your strategy in this team. And I was teaching strategy to Spanish teams and all over the world. Um, and at the time, at the time, you know, I wasn't I wasn't an, a, a go live educator at all. You know, I was just teaching the strategy. Um, then they had some development, some more developments with the analyzer and we were, we were working in the background, trying to develop some more strategies for those, those things. And then about, say about, it was probably about a good four months in the background, kind of working in the background. And he says, um, Hey, we're going to get some educators now for this product as a new one so that people could you know, jump on it and get on it. So, so that's how I became became a, a go live educator that was that was it wow. Wow, wow, wow. yeah 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 so it's just it's just um giving giving value you know just making sure that you know, not not you you alone eat but but everybody else eat i was listening to something um this weekend and he says hey if you want if you want something you just don't go out and try to get it mm-hmm. you go find some people that want want as well and you help them to get what they want. And eventually you'll get what you want. That is so powerful. I love that. Thank you so much for that. And, you know, that kind of ties in. So I've got two more questions before we leave, because I know you've got another call, uh, which we appreciate you for. So um, my next question would be, I know you said, you know, adding value everywhere, but I know there's a lot of people on this call that kind of look at their future and say, I want to be like you. I want to be a Go Live educator. So yep. what advice would you give to someone that's aspiring to be a Go Live educator? And how could they actually become a Go Live educator in the future? So, so one of the things is I would say you make sure that you, you get a, some sort of speciality in something. So if, if, for example, like say, for example, there's nobody in, on Go Live trading stocks at the moment. So maybe if you're, if you're into stock trading um, and you sort of master that, maybe you could, could go to Spila or, or Jason, go to your chairman and say, hey, you know, I could teach stocks or... You could say, um, all right, well, I've, I've mastered the S&P 500, so I am now the S&P 500 king or whatever. I want to be able to teach that on Go Live. But you've got to be now very, very um, specific. Or say, for example, you, you develop some sort of a product or something or a, a strategy and you want to be able to, to, to do that. I think probably more of a product might, might be might be so so like say for example bass is now coming out with the infinity infinity tool um i know he, he was training on pivots that was lee allen brought pivots to 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 um i am mastery academy so it's just what you can bring to the table you know mm. uh, i think that's that's most important but just make sure uh, even even if you're if if you're doing a language like for example if you could could um speak a language that not that is not in the go live uh, academy yet you could you know that that's a potential avenue in but you just got to see see how your uniqueness could fit in wow i love that thank you so much right so everyone definitely stay unique um and and really you know master that so my last question before we love you and leave you bro is you know I love to ask this question. I think it's like one of the most valuable questions, but knowing what you know now, going through your journey, you know, if you was to look back from when you first started with everything that you've learned, all the obstacles that you had to overcome, what advice would you give yourself when you first started? Find yourself, you know, figure out who you are as a trader. Uh, let me just find a link here, right? I'm going to, uh, I'll share this link here with you. Just do a, do a little quiz. Um, it's called, um, what type of trader are you? Yeah, there you go. So what trading style you suits you? Now, 
you just do this just do this little quiz and make sure all right just do this little quiz is literally literally 15 questions it may seem random questions but it really helps because your trading style will be based on your personality um and go through these 15 questions it will tell you at the end of it if you're a scalp um if you're a scalper if you are a swing trader if you are a day trader if you are a position trader and then when you've done that the beauty is that we have so much now that you could go and, and choose an educator that you could follow who has that specific style. So if you're swing trading, you go to Stevenson Lindor. If you're scalping, Sharif or Dr. Cathy. If you're intraday trading or, or intraweek trading, myself, um, and Christopher Derrick, many others, many others that you could follow. Lex Waves, um, Oren, Oren Wright. Um, it is, yeah. Many, many others. Now, uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to be on the um, trading mastery call, the one that that they do on Sundays. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be on that this Sunday, right? This is the first time I'm gonna be featured, so oh. you don't want to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We're gonna be promoting heavy for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me just make sure that everybody has my pip, the pip talk as well. I, I think I dropped it in the chat, but I'm not quite sure. But definitely keep keep posted. Keep on pip talk. Yeah, go ahead, Montel, while I, while I um, look for pip talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, make sure you're on this Sunday. Um, you know, it's going to be huge to be hearing from our very own Ballet Granville. And, and where are you based as well? Because I know you're, you're in the... I'm in Northamptonshire. Yeah, Northamptonshire. Wow, wow, wow. So, guys, if you're from the UK, you know, it's amazing to support another brother that's, you know, just literally down the road from us in Northamptonshire. And, you know, man, I just want to give you so much gratitude. I just want to thank you. Uh, you are an absolute blessing to this whole company. And it's just been amazing to have you on this call, man. Every time you get a chance to link up, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> man, it's always, it's always good to see you guys. And then to see you guys hitting those ranks now, man, amazing, amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I, need, to, I need to start hitting those chairman ranks as well. I need to start that chairman run, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's already done. It's already done. And, you know, could you, could you actually talk on that before we, before we end now? Because, you know, a lot of people come in, they just want to focus on trading. A lot of people want to come in and want to focus on trading. Yeah, let me, let me tell you something, though. It, it, is, it is a mistake to, to just say, yeah, I just want to focus on trading and, and nothing else. Or I just want to focus on building and nothing else. Because, for one, trading is actually made for building up your money over time. So you, you, what you're trying to do is get your cup. Uh, benefit from compound interest. What a lot of people do is they try to trade for monthly income. Mm. And professionals don't trade for monthly income. They trade to build their money up over time. They, like people in hedge funds, they, they get paid because um, they charge a, a, like a management fee for the people's money that they manage it, right? That's how they get paid. If they don't make any money, they don't get any bonus, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how they get paid. So you don't have any m money for people to manage. So how are you going to get paid? You should take the opportunity to build a team so that you could get paid. Yes. And then use that money to build over time. That is the, that is the smart way of doing it. No, I wish I knew that as well. That was one of the of the answers to your to your question. Yeah. If I knew if I knew that before, I would have been focusing far more on on building as well, rather than just simply trading, right? And and what that does is take it takes the stress off of you from mm -hmm. trading, right? You don't you don't have to like. Say for example, if if Zane now if Zane now blows up a ten thousand dollar account, you think he's gonna be worried? <laughs> exactly. No, he just he, yeah, man. When he gets paid this week, he just put that back in and go again. <laughs> exactly. Crazy. So, so yeah, take the opportunity to build as well. I think that's important. Um, and then, of course, when you, when you get the money and you get the skill, you could increase 
So they, they, they go hand in, they go hand in hand. And it's a very powerful combination, um, trading and, and network marketing. Wow. Thank you so much. I know a lot of people had that light bulb moment, right? You know, the light bulbs are just going off in their head right now. So thank you so much for that, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me on the call. I'll stop sharing. I'm going to jump on to, um, to Vibrata channel now. going to start teaching there for a little bit. See you guys there if, if you're coming, but if not, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. You're an absolute blessing. And before you go, right, what we do as a culture, and we want you to lead us in this one, right? We could do a woo, a woo, a woo, because we know that you lead by that one, right? We normally do a chairman screen, but if you could lead us, I'm going to unmute everybody, and we're going to follow your lead and what you want us to say. So, Ballet, we love you. Thank you so much, and take it away. End this call, brother. So, I will just ask you, what is your profession? And all you just say is, a woo, a woo, a woo. all right? So, yeah. after three, I'm going to ask, Champions, what is your profession? Profession. We love you, Ballet. Thank you. God bless you. Let's go.